What's up, everybody? Uh, TNA back here with another video. And as you see on the title, I wanted to give, you know, I just wanted to make a video just giving out my thoughts on uh, UFC time now. You're going to sit back, relax, you know. Uh, now the time is UFC. So let's get right into this talk. Um, Yeah, so I, I wanted to get off my mind uh, shit that's happening in the UFC and shit that's going to be happening in the UFC. Uh, first things first, I want to say um, I did watch the fight between... Uh, uh, Nate Diaz versus BJ Penn. It was a good fight. Uh, BJ Penn is supposed to be retiring. Um, if you want more info, go ahead and check out my my review of UFC that that event. Um, so yeah. So first thing I want to get off my mind is Chris Lieben versus Mark Munoz. Um, that fight looks outstanding. And well, and what makes it even better is that it's gonna be five rounds for five minutes. Now they're not fighting for the title and they're not fighting for a number one contender. They're just fighting for five minutes, and that's something that Dana wanted to do for quite some time now. He said that starting with all UFC fights, that they're going to be five rounds for five minutes. Like, for an example, you know, what if you, what if there was a good fight, and it was, you know, the third round, and it ended? You know, what would have happened in the next two rounds? So Dana came clear on that, and he said, well, the Mark Munoz and Chris Lehman fight will be five rounds for five minutes. Um, next fight I want to get off my chest is the Cain Velasquez versus Junior Dos Santos. For the heavyweight championship on the Fox uh, channel, I don't know if it's going to be on Fox Sports or Fox, but for me, it's going to be on uh, Fox. Um, it is going to be televised. You don't have to pay for nothing. Um, the way I see this fight going, it looks pretty. It looks pretty uh, good fight. You know, I'm not really a big fan of Junior Dos Santos, but I am a fan of uh, Cain Velasquez. Um, so yeah, you know, I think that fight's going to be good for the heavyweight title. It's going to be the first time in the UFC that the heavyweight championship will be on the line on national television. Yeah, I got it right, national television. But, yeah, you know, I mean, I think that fight's going to be good, too. What else? Um, near future, quite some time now, we're going to see uh, George St. Pierre taking on Nate Diaz for the uh, UFC welterweight championship. Now, that fight was supposed to happen the... Now, that fight was supposed to happen with the BJ Penn and Nate Diaz fight, but supposedly uh, George St. Pierre, you know, uh, he got injured, supposedly. And with all due respect, GSP, but... At the last minute, you're just going to pull an injury. Like, I don't know if you were playing out or something or what. I don't know if you were scared. I don't know if you were. I don't know what we were, you know. But if you were scared, I mean, come on, man. Like, everyone wanted to see that fight between Diaz and St. Pierre. I mean, that fight was, um, was you know, going to be the fight of the year, supposedly. Um, But that fight didn't happen. But it's supposed to be, you know, happening in... I think early 2012, because I'm not sure it's it's going to be this year, you know, because this year uh, it's closing up. Um, but I think it's going to be an early 2012, I believe, that fight. What else? Brock Lesnar uh, will return in the UFC. Um, we haven't seen him in a while besides his defeat against, uh, or, yeah, besides his defeat against Cain Velasquez. Um, and he lost that title. But he's coming back and he's facing a big heavyweight. And this heavyweight is making his debut in the UFC. Former Strike Force heavyweight champion Alistair Overeem will fight Brock Lesnar in the UFC. Um, I want it, this fight is gonna be good. I, I'm gonna say it right now. Um, first of all, Brock Lesnar, big dude, heavyweight dude. I mean, the, uh, the dude's a beast. He's big. He's strong. I mean, this is this is gonna be one of the biggest heavyweight clashes in the UFC. And then you got uh, Alistair Overeem, another great dude that's coming off from Strike Force. He was originally gonna go back to K1 or something like that. But um, but he wanted to go with uh, UFC. I have no problem with that. You know, that's by all means go to UFC. I want to see that fight between Lesnar and Alistair Overeem. I think that fight's gonna be good too. Uh, what else? And I know this is gonna be a late topic or you know late discussion of talking about it. But UFC signed a contract with Fox. Now um, I know this is pretty late, but um, now I want to talk about the Ultimate Fighter now because. I believe the Bisbing and Miller will be the last Ultimate Fighter before they uh, close Spike. Like, you know, they're gone from Spike. I don't know if they're still going to have UFC unleashed on Spike. I do not think they will. Uh, just because I think, like, UFC is really taking everything out of Spike and putting it back, you know, into Fox. And if they do that, that's great. Because then Fox is going to get more views. They're, they're going to get uh, a lot of publicity. Because now Fox got soccer they got um, football, and now they got UFC. I mean, Fox is really getting it now. I mean, if you really look at it, uh, Spike didn't really have any uh, sports on it. They really had the only sports that they had was the Ultimate Fighter, which from UFC, and they had the uh, undercards. You know, like 
for instance, the pay-per-views, you know, they had the undercards televised on Spike. But, um, I believe one of the fights that are going to be upcoming, uh, the undercards will be televised on Fox, so you guys should check that out on UFC.com. Um, what else? And, oh, the new game that's coming out, UFC Undisputed 3, I'm going to start doing videos on that specific game, just because I'm a fan of it. Um, I'm gonna start, you know, doing that type of shit. I'm gonna start doing, uh, you know, giving you guys info, giving you guys a roster. So just tune up on that, guys. And that's basically it about this video. Uh, I just wanted to give you guys my thoughts on this whole UFC thing. So, teen your DNA, and you guys have a wonderful day.